uh, April 6th. I'm up early to make this trade because I have to go to the doctor. It's the last trading day of the week because tomorrow is Good Friday. Um, so here's my disclaimer. Day 62 of the $100 account challenge. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on the internet who trades stocks and simply chronicalizing my trades. So do your own due diligence. It's simply a format for me to look back on the end of the year and see what I've done right and wrong. So let me go to my watch list. <clears throat> Uh, what's the current stocks to watch? I'm not messing with the sub one dollar stocks. YVR OCTO. YVR. Come on, man! I can't even tell you. YVR OCTO. L U N R M C O M. Trading income last week, I think it popped up. B O R B. I'm pretty sure the G R R R was here yesterday. Uh, S E A C. S N D A. L-U-N-R. Wouldn't have been around a couple weeks too. AMC, bought by Amazon, been around a couple weeks. Well, in this case, been around for over a year. T-O-C-X, last one. So I'm going to add the top four in my watch list. Not, I'm going to add it, but I ain't going to trade this, this sub $1 stock. Unless somehow it goes parabolic and pops a dollar. Otherwise, it's going to be sitting there. I technically can buy it right now. I can buy it now and let it sit. You know, I <laughs> Cause look at this, look at this buy, this price, and look at this volume. Ah oh, man, it's so tempting to buy it. You know what I said? I'm not buying a one dollar stocks. Problem is, it's so early in the morning, and they got a long way to go. We just pulled back, reversed over my green line. I didn't want to do that. That's my. It's up 100% already. OCTO. You know what? Because I'm going to let it set for so long, I am going to buy it. Now I was trading for a quick scalp. I would uh not buy it. M O R M C O M. Let me go to it. I'm gonna hold it for a while. So what's the, what's I got in my account to trade? Thirty one bucks. So at least a hundred shares. E X T. What are we at? Twenty twenty eight. I put it there. Wait, it's 30 bucks now. It should be 100, right? Yeah. XT Auto Sand. Alright, so. Even though I say I'm not buying stocks less than a dollar again in my small account, 
Today I get a lot of time to trade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna put in a sale order. This is why I bought it though. Let me tell you why I bought it. I'm show you in a second. Let me draw some lines. Kind of constant support right there. That's the resistance point right there. I'll tell you why I bought it. It's currently 13 cent off the high of day, right? The high of day was 39 cent. It's been pulling back red candles for quite a while. There's my my first green candle to make uh, a price above the blue line I have here. Because of that, it made me buy it. I want to sell it at, if I take, I can take five or six cents off this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to go to 32 and let it sit because I'm not going to be sitting there all day. So 32 is right here. You see my blue line is ready to cross my red line. See my red line is becoming resistance, right? My red line is currently priced at 29.06. Now, if my blue line crossed my red line, then I got a bullish move. You see right here, it was a straight bullish move on the RSI, right? We look over here, I logged on a little too late as always, and I watched and I bought in at the fourth green candle. I could have bought in back here, but I'd been here early enough, but I wasn't. I was setting up my computer to how I wanted to trade. If you look over here, you see we have the first green uh, candlestick making a, a new high or red to green move. So I'm in the first 15 minute green candle as well as I got in on the fourth, fifth or fourth green count on the one minute chart. So technically I should run this 32 cent and then be out the way. <coughs> I'm gonna let this video play. You see where I'm at? I mean, I'm selling at 32 cent, right? 100 shares. Let me go over to my chart right quick and add a fourth. How are you freezing again, huh? Oh, no, we not. He had a fourth uh, stock into my candle right here. Um, S N E S is not one. O C T O V O R B. We just crossed a hundred percent. See that? Look at that float. I mean that market cap, two point six million, and the volume is two point six nine million. It's the same volume as market cap. So it's telling me news coming. Uh, S E A C. S E A C. Income. Let me put income right here. Yesterday, uh, what's that yesterday? R N A Z. Check this out. Yesterday morning, did the same thing. Yesterday morning, where we at? There we go. Yesterday morning, it's right there. Yesterday morning, see what day yesterday morning? It popped up, same time frame, eight o'clock, right? It was one, two, three, four, five green candles in a row, but the fifth green candle or fourth green candle was the high of day. Currently, we at the same time frame, and we had one, two candles so far into it. So, hopefully, we can get the same move yesterday. Popped up, it popped up, hit high of day. Pull back a couple of candles or a couple of hours, market open, it popped up, ran up to almost high of day, and then fell the rest of the day. If this candle do a similar thing yesterday, it'll do the same thing as RNAZ. But you look here yesterday, we had some news that came in at 9 o'clock, I think it was. Let's see. Yeah, yesterday, I don't see the time frame. Yesterday came in, news came in at 9.05. Which is way after the fact of this. So I'm assuming today we can have the same pattern with this stock. News is going to come in way late. 
and it's going to run it up. Now, all I care about is getting this four cent. Now, four cent on a 28 cent stock is about 13 percent, right? I take that. 100 shares, four cent, four dollars. I'm not going to be greedy, right? Let it sit for a minute and see what happens. Even though you know I hate trading these sub one dollar stocks, but because I'm down here early and I'm going to be trading for a long time today, I'll take this little cheap stock. Like nothing but time for it to run. I think I'm up one cent already, or real close to it. Uh, MCOM. MCOM ain't doing nothing. SEAC. Market cap. Now you know by now, uh, retail trailers like us is going to be buying these high, high uh, movement stocks. If I know at 8 a.m. stock is still climbing 105 right percent, I know I can buy it early and get it for maybe 200 percent move. Now YVR is known to run up. If you look back here, you can see. Let me go to uh, 188 four hour chart. You notice back here, it, it often spikes and drops, right? This is a four hour four hour candle, so it looked like it's not much, but it popped up, pulled back. Next day, popped up, pulled back. Next day, popped up, pulled back. Next day, popped up, pulled back. It's known to spike and pull back. But look at here. You look at the four hour chart, you're on the first ink uh, decline, right? But it's hitting that that 70 on that uh, RSI. So if I'm supporting that RSI. Now you can buy a green candle here. You notice it's the first green candle on a four hour chart. If I look in long term, I have one, two, three. Next one should be four, five, right? It should continue to go up. You look here on a four hour chart. You see also the first four hour green candle as well. So technically, OCTO should make a move right here, red to green move, as well as YVR should make a move as well. We're finishing the third green candle above the green line. Um, I don't see any others. This is a pullback MCOM. Uh, VORB need a need a red to green move to make some noise. So I'm gonna sit here for a minute and make this video. So see what happens. I'm gonna watch it right quick. <clears throat> Today, the last day, I think, of the basketball season, regular season, I think. It's a bunch of weird stuff going tonight. I look forward to watching the game, though. Uh, more. Look over here for a second. We had 29 cent, I think. Yeah. Almost 30. So see that? We're still going. I need 32. And I get out the way. We got 30. And climbing. Second green 15 minute candle coming. Looking good.
looking good, looking good. So three dollars will be ten percent, right? Hard to borrow, HTB, right? Mm -mm. And we still moving. We got thirty one cent almost. Twenty one thirty two. Right? We got a green volume coming in. We got ten percent already. Yep. There's ten percent right there. We almost there at my point. See where it hit? That was fast, 10%. We're about to move again. They go $3. We got two cents to go, and I'll be out. Well, point two cents to go, and I'll be out. And there it is. That was a real easy 10%. I just wanted to get in, get my money, get out the way, because I have to go to the doctor. So I'm going to go here in the group. And say, just made a quick, it's gonna reach up check, 13% on YVR. I know I said I wasn't trading sub $1 stocks. No more in my small account, but I knew I was going to set it and forget it. So here's the thing. When I said and forget, <clears throat> I'm okay with making those trades like that, letting it sit forever. Uh, still has room to run. In at zero two eight two eight out at zero point three two. Ending video now, and it will be beautiful. Yeah. We're going to hit 35 cent next. That's the next line I got drawn. I could have held it a little longer, but I just want my 10% or more and get out the way. Uh, stay green. Don't be greedy. Uh, one trade away.